Hey everybody, how's it going? It's the Dan of Legend with Gaming Junkie, and I wanted to give you guys my thoughts and ideas on the new Dragon Ball Super spoilers that have recently come out. It's for episodes 88 and 89, and here's the general premise of 89. Uh, Goku's going to recruit Tien, Tien has a new dojo, and uh, apparently they're running into some problems with that. We don't really know what at the moment, but we do know that he runs into some type of problems along the way. Goku's probably going to help him out, and, um, you know... Tian will join the team, obviously. Now, what really intrigues me is episode 88 spoilers, and uh, these spoilers tend to be pretty on point, so before everybody goes dismissing them right away, um, I first found these watching a For Neverworld video, so I'm going, I, you know, they're legit. He tends to be pretty reliable, and then I fact check them later from where he probably finds them. Um, and what happens is um, the title translates something along the lines to... Uh, Gohan and Piccolo surpassing their limits, something along those lines. And this is the part that really intrigues me. Now, Gohan is a fan favorite and definitely a favorite of mine. I personally wouldn't have minded if he had become the main character after the Cell Saga. However, I'm just happy to keep Goku and Vegeta around, don't get me wrong. Um, I can understand both planes of thought. I personally prefer um, Goku and Vegeta as the main characters to Gohan, but that's just probably because Gohan never really realized his full potential. Potential unleashed, if you will. That being said, um, something I really want to talk about is Piccolo. Piccolo is one of my all-time favorite Dragon Ball Z characters, especially watching him fight because, um, I'm sorry, I should have said Dragon Ball characters as a whole now that there's a whole series going on. We don't talk about GT. <laughs> I didn't actually hate GT all that much, but we'll, we'll, we'll set that one aside for a different video. Um... As far as Piccolo is concerned, I love watching him fight because, like he said, in a fight with Frost in Dragon Ball Super himself, he is a tactician. And I like tactical fighters. It's one of the reasons I enjoy watching Shikamaru fight so much in Naruto. Even though, once again, you know, with all the god power up bullshit, Shikamaru becomes underpowered. I hate it when that happens. I hate when the main characters just become so unbelievably overpowered that tactics just don't tend to work in general. You know, that's what I really like about this arc is the fact that, you know, they're giving tactics and, you know, thinking things through a real, um, a real light in this battle and this tournament because, you know, obviously, uh, Krillin and Kid, and not Kid, um, Krillin and Fat Boo don't have to hold a candle to Goku, but they managed in their own right, um, and, you know, uh, I'm sure that, I mean, 17, 17 is just a powerhouse, uh, but he also, you know, obviously has his tactics behind him because, you know, it showed that he had some real, um, bunch of different capabilities when, you know, they had that fight with, um, him and Goku when they were trying to avoid damaging the force spell, you know, he can really think things through in a fight. Um, now what I would love to see, I'd love to see a little more light for the other characters, you know, um, for, uh, you know, Krillin... Tiet, how I'll even give Yamcha a chance at this point. I, Yamcha deserves a little love. I know everybody hates on him, even DBZ Bridged, but he does deserve some love in his own right. Um, I would love to see Piccolo maybe become something along the lines of a Namekian god of sorts. I don't honestly see any reason that if Topo, you know, the um, galactic... Uh, did, what are they? Pride Troopers? Pride Troopers. Um, if someone that's not a Saiyan can handle a Saiyan's level of power through training, like Jiren, as they mentioned that Jiren, the, uh, one of the, the strongest member of Universe 11, if I'm not mistaken, can get stronger like that by training, why can't other races? As far as we know, um, the Saiyan race is the only one that has a Zenkai boost, so in theory it's completely possible through hard work and dedication that, um, Piccolo, Yamcha, maybe not Yamcha, <laughs> Piccolo, Yamcha, Tien, uh, Krillin could all become as powerful as Super Saiyan Blue if they really trained. And we know that um, they could they could very simply gather their Dragon Balls, they get three wishes, three of them at a time, get eternal youth or something along the lines, maybe make it so that they don't age in the Hyperbox time chamber, they could just train forever. And they would eventually reach that level of power because, I mean, I don't see any reason they couldn't. Piccolo especially is one character I'd love to see, or even even throw him in Whis's staff, have them absorb the God Key, like Goku and Vegeta did. I'm sure they could do it. I would love to see um, Gohan as a Super Saiyan Blue, but I'm really focused on the other characters at the moment. I would love to see. I mean, I love Tien. Tien's one of my favorite characters. Uh, a lot of favorite characters for Dragon Ball, as you may very well pick up on. Yamcha's not one of my favorite characters, so don't don't get me started on him. But I I 
think that the other characters really deserve some light. They deserve a little limelight and they deserve some time to themselves. Uh, and a little character development. I mean, it's this brand new series and they're kind of... They at the first just threw the other characters off in the back burner. And um, Roshi, Roshi too. Roshi was like my favorite in Dragon, the original Dragon Ball. And um, I like seeing Goku get so much stronger than him. But Roshi's basically... Um, eternally youthful as far as i'm aware i think they said something along the lines of him drinking out of the fountain of youth so there really is limitless potential for him to um keep training and i honestly don't understand why he hasn't why he hasn't just gone in the hyperbot time chamber every day just come out for a minute and go back in and train he really doesn't have a limit to his potential as far as i'm aware um as far as other characters go, I feel that a similar rule applies. And if they really applied themselves, they could become that strong. Maybe they wouldn't um, ever catch up to Goku and Vegeta. No, because Vegeta and Goku are constantly training. Uh, but they could get to their current level. See, that's the thing that um, I teach a couple of my friends martial arts. And, you know, um, one or two of them get discouraged by the fact that... Um, they're never really able to beat me in a sparring match. And I told them that they really shouldn't be discouraged because what they have to understand is um, it's not that they're not improving. It's that I am also improving. It's not that I have any problem with them surpassing me. It's that I am constantly trying to better myself. So therefore, unless they train significantly harder than me, they're not going to catch up unless I either get lazy or I eventually reach a temporary peak. Now, that's one thing that I love about Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Z, whatever you want to call it. Hell, let's throw GT in there just for the fanboys. Um, I don't think humans have any limit to their potential. Except for the fact that we will eventually age and die. Um, so, everything else under the sun, I believe that I could limitlessly progress. Now, there are always peaks, but I believe that all peaks are temporary. And that's the reason that Dragon Ball Super gets me so hyped. And that's the reason that I feel these characters... Now, it's a fictional universe, so the creator, the writer, does whatever the hell they want. But in general, I feel that they deserve a little love. As always, I have been the Dan of Legend with Gaming Junkie. And that's all the thoughts I really have on the matter. Um, please, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm always looking for ideas for new videos. So, um, if somebody leaves me a comment, I'll probably wind up doing it. Because I'm still a small channel looking for my bearings. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day. Bye.